So I went and downloaded an Ubuntu server installation, which was a pretty current um, server. I think it's version uh, 21 here suit. And uh, so I want to show you a couple things. First of all, um, to just see the version on this uh On this, I can do LFB release dash A. Um, sorry, that's little A. <laughs> and uh, it tells me I'm running Ubuntu um, Hirsute her 21.04, and this is just the server version, so no graphical user interface on it. Um, I'm um, doing this mainly uh, to create a network file system and a um, uh, couple of services that I can that I can use um, and have uh, a system that is actually available, but it doesn't uh, necessarily tie into any specific. Uh, application like Cali or something else, just something that I can run some services on and have it open and available for me. And um, so one of the first things that I do uh, is, is I notice that uh, there was not an SSH service running, and uh, so I needed to actually install that. Uh, so I started kind of running down the running down the rabbit hole of um, having problems when I when I ran a, a, a super user do apt get update right so um, as you can see I have that update uh, right here and it went through successfully but it it took me many hours of actually trying to figure out what was causing the problem because every time I would run the aptitude update, uh, what I would do, get is something very similar to this output right here. And so what would happen is it would go through uh, the list of sources and it would actually run a, um, a hash. And so what it was looking for is a hash of the file and it would give the uh, hash some mismatch error. It would tell me the hash that it expected, uh, and then it would tell me the hash that was received. And what would happen is, is that when I compared these, in this particular case, these these SHA sums are different, uh, and the MD5 sums are the same. But in in my case, the SHA1 and the SHA2 uh, were different. And what it turns out is it really happens that there is um, a little bit of overzealousness in the, in the uh, algorithm that calculates it. But it's caused, it's the reason why it's causing the error is because it is, it is a mathematical error due to the fact that I'm running in the Windows virtualization. So if I were uh, running under a Linux kernel and the Linux VM inside that, uh, there's, a, there's a chance that I would not have that issue. Uh, but because I'm actually running this Ubuntu server in VirtualBox, I'm getting a hash issue. So it's not, uh, it's not a collision. Um, it's simply a miscalculation in one of the um, in one of the hashes. So one key point of this is, is it's, anytime you do cryptography, you want to be sure you verify the hashes, make sure that your device calculates them. It's usually is the problem with the fact that my device here inside the virtualizer is calculating that hash a little bit differently. So when I go in through and search that hash some mismatch error, I get quite a bit of different uh, solutions, and most of them involve clearing some caches, um, cleaning out lists, and just trying to redo it over and over again. Um, I went through uh, a very 
very close uh, in the documentation, and I will show you uh, the uh, configuration. So a couple of things that I noticed. First thing is, is that in the ETC folder and the aptitude, uh, there was not a configuration file. Uh, there was an apt conf d folder, uh, but there was no actual configuration file in there. Uh, so I pulled this configuration file from a repository in the docs folder. So I'll show you where that is. Um, there is a, there is a folder called user doc user, sorry, user share doc apt examples and there are sample configuration preferences and source files in there so if you ever mess something up when you're doing the configuration the uh, files are there in the in the docs folder so you can simply copy that over so when i copy that file over uh, and i will look show you real quick what that looks like um, these are the two um, global configurations that I that I found in the documentation. I said allow downgrade to insecure repositories, and that was set to true, and allow uh, weak, and that was set to yes. And essentially, what that is supposed to do is, even though this is giving a warning that there is a weak security here because there's a mismatch that it should actually go and ignore that uh, and allow that to process or it should drop down to a lower repository that doesn't necessarily require the hashes to match. Now when I actually started uh, aptitude and try to do the update for some reason i don't necessarily know whether or not that actually worked um, because it still gave me the error so i want to show you actually what the solution was and i found this on a forum but it took me multiple hours um, to actually get this working and what what i ended up doing was disabling the uh, secure hash algorithm too or the SHA-256. And the way I did that is in the, in the ETC folder, I created a folder called gcrypt. And you have to do that as super user. And inside that gcrypt folder, you um, touch a file called hwf.deny and inside that file you put the word all and what will happen at that point is once you have this file that is set to all it will basically turn off that particular hash function uh, and it will not compute it anymore. Um, you can run at that point, run the uh, aptitude updater, and everything should be successful. So, just like this. And that actually will um, provide updated packages for aptitude. And you can uh, go ahead and do your uh, searching. Um, right, and find your packages that you want. So, um, I hope that helped you, and that saved me a lot of time, uh, and I hope I used a lot of time trying to find the answer, but I hope that it saves you even more time in your setup of the Ubuntu server. So thank you very much.